Tampa in 1960, Westford in 1961, Telstar in 1962, and Relay. The Relay satellites conducted experiments in communication with tracking stations around the world. In England, France, Italy, Spain, West Germany, Brazil, and Japan. Relay 1 was launched from Cape Kennedy in December 1962. It provided an historic first, the telecast to Europe of astronaut Cooper's space flight. Through these experiments, space scientists developed and improved many techniques. By October 1964, they were able to transmit telecasts around the world. When the Olympic Games were held in Japan, television audiences in the United States, Canada, and Europe saw the events at the same time as the people in the Tokyo Stadium. The star in this exciting communications drama was Syncom 3. President Johnson applauded the event. He said, I now look forward to seeing satellite systems extend throughout the world. It can be a great contribution to international understanding, a vital stepping stone toward lasting peace. Like other satellites, SYNCOM-3 required many tests before it was launched. When checkout was complete, the payload and booster stood in the gantry, tall and graceful. SCORE had brought the first sound of a human voice back from outer space. Relay-1 had transmitted signals to tracking stations spotted all over the globe. Now, SYNCOM-3 has furnished the last link for telecasts around the world. These accumulated experiences will lead the way to clearer communications on Earth and, eventually, perhaps, from Earth to the planets. The communication satellite model in this exhibit is named SCORE. Such a satellite was launched at Christmas time in 1958. As SCORE raced round and round the Earth, some 20...